As I listened to the readings for today and this week, I thought of the song from Fiddler on the Roof entitled, Do You Love Me? The family life and traditions of Tevye and Golda have been challenged greatly. And as they give leave to their last daughter entering a mixed marriage, the song addresses their own relationship. In the final stanzas, Tevye repeats the question, do you love me? Golda, do I love him? For 25 years I've lived with him, fought with him, starved with him. 25 years my bed is his. If that's not love, what is? Tevya, then you love me. Golda, I suppose I do. And Tevya, and I suppose I love you too. And they reflect together. It doesn't change a thing. But even so, after 25 years, it's nice to know. From Epiphany to the Baptism of the Lord this Sunday, the readings from John and the Gospel ask us that question. Do you love me? But more, how do you love me? As Jesus begins his mission and ministry, our relationship in this coming year is confronted. And the requirement for true love seems to be rooted in faith and hope. For example, in John's letters this week, John consistently proposes that the love of God demands a leap of faith. After all, he writes, quote, No one has ever seen God. And how we see God, how we relate, is essential. It is not alone or by ourselves or in our own private prayer and world, but in our love for one another. Moreover, he says, we must acknowledge freely and courageously our belief in faith. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God remains in him and he in God. And John, offering more assurance, says, in this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment. And finally, the evangelist assures us that faith, hope, and love dispel any fear. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Each of us experiences fear in our lives and on so many different levels. Fear of rejection, sickness, suffering, loss of relationship, loss of our minds, loss of our loved ones, and even our own death. Trust and hope in the God, in the Lord's presence and protection is expected of us all. When those fearful times arise in our life, our question might be, God, do you love me? Right now, I need to know. The gospel gives us more confidence in that love from God. In the story of the storm at sea and Jesus coming to them, they were fearful in the storm. And Mark stresses pointedly, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But Christ's response to them and to us in every one of our anxious moments, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Do I love God? Yes, I suppose I do. Perhaps as our relationship with Christ deepens, we can be even more specific than Tevye and Golda and identify more with St. Peter when Christ confronted him about his love. Yes, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And I know that you love me. And after all these years, it's still nice to know.